here we have a situation in the village where we want to integrate our ventilation. We want to make sure these people are getting fresh air. We we'll also make sure they stay warm. And we want to combine them because we don't, we don't want the situation where people turn the heat on and turn off the HRVs. And this makes it impossible for that to happen because if your HRV is on, then you're going to get airflow across this heat exchanger and you're going to have a warm house. If the HRV is off, you're not going to get any heat in that house in an effective manner. The fir first thing is the, the HRV, the heat recovery ventilator. And in our case, we're using this little um, Venmar Eco. And uh, we have it set up here to kind of do a bench test in the shop. We bring our, our cold, fresh air from outside. We recover some of the heat that would be coming from the inside going out. And now this is just supply air that would normally go to all the house, all of the rooms in the house. But we're doing something a little different here. Um, we're bringing it into this filter box. This is just a place we can filter out the air. And then right inside here, there's a heat exchanger in here, kind of like a, a radiator in your car. And the idea is that if we pump hot water through this heat exchanger, then it's just gonna warm the air that moves across that heat exchanger from, say, 40 degrees Fahrenheit to maybe 90 or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we've got this warm air and it's delivered to your room. Um, what's heating it is this modulating uh, condensing boiler. Um, it has the ability to heat, produce hot water and space heating. Uh, it provides it at low temperature, generally it's low temperature fluid. And since we live in a, or this house is going to be a, a uh, house with the low heating loads, uh, we can handle, we can take the low temperature water. People find reasons not to use heat recovery ventilators, you know, and, and uh, it's it's something that needs to be done, in my opinion. You know, especially in, in Alaska, where we have we're starting to get tighter and tighter houses. We're getting less and less fresh air through infiltration, so we got to bring in mechanical ventilation. Oh, instead of just bringing in cold fresh air, let's go ahead and recover that heat. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone. It's going to be shipped out, I believe, next week. So we're bench testing it here to make sure that we work out any gremlins that may show up. The construction of this house in Buckland begins in about a week and a half. Going in at 58. How's it feel? It says it's 139 air temperature. Mm -hmm. Feels warm. It's like a head dryer. That's it? Head dryer. Yeah, exactly. Perfect height. <laughs> Put an arrow stack right here. <laughs> nice and quiet, nice and warm, nice and quiet. And this is just from the HRV. It's a nice velocity, isn't it? Not bad. Yep, not bad. It'll come on and it'll shoot some nice air through the house, and the house will warm up and it'll stay there. And an hour later, it'll come on for a little while. It'll just be off. That's what. That's the beauty of this thing. Yeah. When it's off, it's off. Good job. Okay, you guys. Thanks. Thanks, Jim. It's like we're, we got a system.